says in Isaiah 9 and 6, for a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest, will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, that Prince of Peace. Father, help us now in Jesus' name. You can be seated. I want us to just share just for a few moments. Uh, and we definitely are not taken away from the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. We all are here, amen, because he lived. We can face tomorrow. To my sister, my oldest sister, Janetta. She, it's her actual birthday today, but y'all just... Shout happy birthday to her. Amen. That's my gift to you. Don't, don't come after <laughs> the whole church. <laughs> happy birthday. No, uh, my mother, amen, she celebrated these holidays and she celebrated us greatly. We wouldn't dare not get a call from her, her singing some kind of song, amen, making up a song. Uh, that's where I got that from. She'd make up a song on the spot. Amen. Just to let you know that she loved you. And so I was thinking about her even this week and uh, the transition of the things that we have transpired in over the last years. Uh, it's, it's not easy to take years and put them as one. Uh, we used to say last year. Uh, but these years have been some connecting years. Uh, there have been sorrow, sadness, sickness, many deaths. We have, we have experienced many tragedies back to back, year after year. Have I got a witness in here? Uh, and, and, and we're living in a time uh, where it's not where it used to be uh, because you would not be able to say this is that. Everything have changed. I wish I had one church right about now. Everything has changed. And, and the problem is, is that when we don't want to change with the change, I can't hear nobody in here. And God is trying to stretch and grow us in the midst of all of the tribulations that we're dealing with. But so many times we like to stay with familiarity. Uh, we really don't want to uh, be uncomfortable. But... How many know that it costs you to grow? It costs you to change. I wish I had one church. I only got a few minutes to minister. They don't even have the clock going, but it costs you to change. It, it, you got to pay. It costs to be the boss. Amen, somebody in here. Uh, it, it costs to be the leader. It costs, amen, to be that one that covers the family. It costs to be the breadwinner, it costs to be the counselor, it costs, amen, it does not come cheap, amen, and it costs to change, it's going to cost you something, there has to be sacrifice, and so, so many times uh, that we go through these things, we don't want change, we're comfortable, I I'm comfortable at a certain level, if there's food in the refrigerator, and, and all of the bills are Paid. I wish I had just one church, amen. All of the bills are paid, uh, Sister Lee. I'm comfortable, but but if if some things start changing where maybe I have a few bills that I can't pay, maybe I'm moving to a season where I have to rob Peter to pay Paul. Maybe, 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 maybe some hard times I hit in my life or or some character flaws that God is trying to work out in me. And I just don't want to let it go. God has a way of allowing the adversary. I wish I had somebody in here to bring you back into to a place where God can minister to you and in this hour and in this season if we ever needed the father we need him now because everything have changed 
used to be a time where, where there was one family member going through and you can depend on the other family member to be the strength. But now all the family members is going through. You call somebody with your story and they got a story. They got a man, a testimony or a trial that they just came into or they're coming out of or they're right in the middle of it. Do I have anybody that's a witness in here? They just, they just experienced some loss in their life and so now we're moving into a season and a time where if we ever had to find out how to encourage ourselves, that time to encourage ourselves in the Lord is now. That's what David had to do when he returned to Ziklag. David showed us how to bless the Lord at all I'm going to preach just for a few minutes I only got a few he showed us brother Richard how to bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in his mouth how did David show us this because he had many of times he could have gave up he could have stayed in the cave but David was a praiser David was a worshiper David didn't mind giving God glory even in the midst of the battle in the midst of the trial even when they was talking about stoning him he called for the ephod and he began to encourage himself how have you made it bishop usher through these dark ages through preaching to a whole empty church for two years with just pews how did you make it when you had to rob peter to pay paul and you had to go in your account your account to help the church account how did you make it from year to year i made it because i am a worshiper can i tell you the secret sauce it is because when i wanted to worry i started worshiping i wish i had somebody in this house tell your neighbor it's because i'm a worshiper and god will always seek and search for those that are worshipers so when my money got low my worship went higher when my faith got low my worship got higher when my tears met my pillow my worship got higher is it anybody here got worship there ever was a time we needed him we need him now because there's so much chaos that is in the world and, and I was looking at this and I was wondering how is it mama that you was always smiling and you was always jolly and you was always bringing all of those gifts to us in spite of all the stuff you was going through and I got a peep amen at her testimony it wasn't by her strength or what she had went through it was because the joy of the Lord was her strength that's what Nehemiah said he says the joy of the Lord is my strength will you look at somebody and say I don't know what keeps you going oh but it's not crown law it is the joy I wish I had just one church in this house it is the joy of the Lord that's my strength it's not reefer baby I tried that for years but when I came down I still had to deal with the same sadness but it is the joy of the Lord that he is my strength it was not the absence of problems it was why problems was all around me but it was the joy of the Lord that is my strength it wasn't the loss of my mother and her still being here what lift your head back up. It was the joy of the Lord being my strength. So if you don't get the gift you want, I would you know somebody say all you need is the joy of the Lord to be your you ain't find the right neighbor I need you to look at somebody and say you just need the joy you need the joy not this joy that comes from specs not this joy that comes from Lucy or Harry but this joy comes from y'all gonna help me preach just for a moment it comes from the Lord I was looking in the scriptures and the Bible says in Matthew 1 and 23 behold a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel which mean interpret God with us look at somebody and say God is with us so how 
and we make it from day to day is because God is with us can I preach Jesus because as we walk in 2023 it's got to be Jesus and fellowship Jesus and kinship I don't know about you but you are may have read with your list but I want more of Jesus more than anything yes a car is fine yes a fat house is fine yes a big bank account is fine but baby give me Jesus I can't get nobody to help me in this big church would you look at your neighbor and tell him baby give me Jesus if you give me Jesus I'll make it from day to day I was thinking about this song and it says God sent his son they call him Jesus he came to love heal and forgive he lived and died to buy my pardon an empty grave is there to prove my savior I wish I had a church lives because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives I can hold my future because he lives I know who holds my hand and because he lives can face tomorrow I don't know what you got to face I'm a preach just for a little and make myself happy I don't know what you got to face in 2023 I'm just giving you a preview of what's gonna happen on the first Sunday of the month and yes I'm a prophesy and hope the best for you but I need to get you ready to prepare for the worst and be ready for the best do I hear church in here I need to get you ready and to prepare you what must come from day to day your hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ I dare not I dare not lean but I wholly lean on Jesus name the Christ is all of the grounds is sinking sand can I preach just for a minute will you tell your neighbor I got a real and a sure foundation yes I can prophesy and talk about a job yes I can prophesy and talk about a house but if you ain't got no peace in that big old house you're gonna lose your everlasting mind if you ain't got no peace on that job you're gonna lose your temper but I'm trying to get you I'm trying to get you I'm trying to get you to my Jesus do I have anybody in here that'll grab your neighbor by the shoulder cuz we ain't touching hands but rub their shoulder and tell them if I can get you to Jesus if I can get you to the Savior if I can get you to the 911 the Prince of Peace the great counselor the Savior the healer my breakthrough my midnight oil if I can get you to my Jesus he paid it all all to him I owe is it anybody in here that want to get to Jesus the Prince of Peace I dare you I double dog dare you I Christmas dare you to jump on your feet and be a witness in this house that it was Jesus that made a way out of no way it was Jesus that picked me up it was Jesus that turned me around it was Jesus that planted my feet on a solid ground it was Jesus that rescued me it was Jesus that saved me is it anybody in here know about Jesus I'm preaching Jesus it is Jesus that declared to the disciples upon this rock I'll be 
build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail it was Jesus that kept me when I couldn't keep myself it was Jesus that died for me and it's Jesus that got up early Sunday morning and it's Jesus that's coming back for me is it anybody in here that'll witness Jesus if you don't mind go to somebody and tell them it's Jesus or nothing I can't hear nobody it's Jesus or nothing if I don't get what I want give me what I need I need I need I need I need Jesus I got about 10 more minutes but I'm getting ready to take a shortcut I don't know if they can hear me out there but turn me up in the house I say I got about 10 more minutes but I gotta take a shortcut I was looking at this and I was looking at Nehemiah and I was looking at the scriptures and I looked at the gifts now the gifts we know how to get them down pat we know how to polish the gift it's the ability to operate in the word of knowledge increased in faith it's the gift of healing it's the gift of miracles it's the gift of prophecy it's the gift of gift of discerning spirits it's the vices gift the gifts of tongues and the gifts of interpreting tongues and I heard the Holy Ghost say that's good the church have learned and mastered the gift we know how to prophesy we know how to lay hands on the sick but God told me in the year of 20 23 you gonna have to increase and sharpen your gift of the gifts of the spirit the fruits of the spirit I know you got the gifts of ability but do you have the fruits of the spirit there are so many Christians that saying you are saved but do you have the fruits oh I'm coming out hard on Christmas Day but it's all right sometimes you gotta get what's gonna save you and what's gonna keep you what's gonna keep you somebody shout I got a few witnesses that love the word do you want the Bible or do you want Bible you want me to come up here and say Jesus is my toast Jesus is my toaster but I come to let you know that God want to keep you out of hell God want to sharpen the fruits of the spirit I know you can't wait to preach and you work on your preaching but have you worked on your love I don't kill nobody you can speak in tongues but you can't speak to me I feel like preaching do I have a church in this house touch your neighbor and say it's revival it's revival time God told me to tell the people let him work get out the way shut your mouth and let him let him work let him work stop gospel stop backbiting love your neighbor as you love yourself by this man will know that you are my disciples do I have anybody in this big old church that'll wave at somebody and tell a neighbor it's easy to walk the flow and prophesy but will you stop and forgive your brother will you love me will you hug me will you pray for me I know I don't look like you I know I don't dress like you I know I don't talk like you I know I don't smell like you but it maybe I need a bunch of sinners do I have any Jesus 
people in this house that'll be a witness to stand on your feet and tell them I haven't always been like this but Jesus I'm getting ready to go but just slap three people and say Jesus transform me through his word be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind what in the world is wrong with God's people you can't do anything you want to do your mind got to change your heart got to change your walk got to change I can't hear nobody in this big old Have he made a difference? Have he made a difference in your life? If he made a difference, you ought to be a witness. You ought to come out. You're not on my sheet, You are not coming in all stoic like you got yourself together. God had to give you more than one chance. He had to give you another chance. Tell somebody, I'm another chance person. No, tell five people I'm another chance for No, tell five people I'm another chance for I blew it I blew it Time after time I fell Time after time But the Bible says A good man Falling See that's the problem You counting how many times I fell But don't count me out It does not matter What really counts Is how many times I got back up Tell your neighbor Yes, I fail, but I got. Well, let's take over the church. I need all those that's been redeemed of the Lord to say so. The Bible says, if you don't say nothing, if you don't shout, the rocks will cry out in your place. And if they cry out in your place, they gonna get your blessing. Close mouth, don't get nothing. And redeem of the Lord, I need you to open up your mouth and get your blessing. Shout. I said shout. I said shout. says I believe I gotta give you Galatian 5 my time is up but I believe the spirit of love joy peace forbearance kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control against such there is no law I know you feel up your Christmas gift and your wish lift but look at somebody say baby what the world need is more of the spirit of God love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness there is no law in Jesus have I got a witness in this house I believe that the church will start back growing if we put God on the main line and we let our flesh die I'm tired of looking at your clothes I know you look good how many times I gotta compliment you can we give Jesus some compliments that 
just offending some of y'all. I'm tired of telling you how good you look. Can I tell you how good Jesus been to me? Can I tell you? Come on, tell somebody Jesus look good to me. Don't tell the wrong person. They may get mad at you. But revival is in the house of greater grace. Tell somebody, Jesus, look good on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm done right here. But can I tell you, Habakkuk 3 and 18 said, Yet will I rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Psalms 35 says, Verse number 9, And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. I will enter into the courts with praise and to the gates with thanksgiving. I will. I can't hear nobody. I will. This day. I will. This day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for God has made me glad. I wish I had some happy people in this house that wave at somebody with a big old smile on your face. Make them get on your nerves. You're going to get sick of seeing me smiling. Why are you smiling like that? Because God has made me glad. Why are you laughing like that? Because God has made me glad. Why are you skipping like that? Because God has made me glad. Why are you running like that? Because God has made me glad. Somebody shout. This is my last one. I'm going to swing this one. And I'm going to see if I can hit one praiser that is in the house. Psalms 107. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. For his mercy endured forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Who will the Lord redeem from the hand of the enemy and gather them out of the lands from the north, from the south, from the west, from the east? Somebody lift your hands and give me Psalms 150. Let everything that have breath. If you don't dance, you ought to shout with your mouth. Let everything. Woo! Let everything. Let everything. If you breathe it, you all in my praise. You breathe it. You all are going. Let me tell you how God let his glory shine on you. And I'm finished right here. If you can stand on your feet. I want everybody that can to stand on your feet. Because God blesses unity. He blesses oneness. He blessed the whole family. He blessed those that's together in unity. Unified faith. Unified praise. I need everybody that is in this house. We always ask God, bring me out of this. And God gets the glory when he brings you out. And I always say that God gets the glory, but you get to tell the story. You can tell 
how you made it over. So I come to let you know how can you get the glory reflected back to God. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for you, you can give God back the glory when you give him the praise. Is it anybody? anybody go give him the glory give it back to him he brought you out he's the prince of peace he's your mighty counselor he's your healer give it back to him give him the glory give him the glory give him the glory